So guys, the next uh, beta block that I'll be looking at is um, ESMO law. All right, so look at the pharmacology of ESMO law. And you can see this, all these are what brands of ESMO law. Like we see that it's actually a hydrochloride injection. All right. It's mostly administered intravenously. See. So looking at the pharmacology of this drug, we get to look at the overview, the mechanism of action, the pharmacokinetics, the clinical uses of this drug, the safety and side effects that should be taken into consideration when you are using this drug. Okay. So for the overview, we see that this esmolol is a beta-1 selective adrenergic blocker. All right. So it's an adrenergic blocker, the beta type, right? So it's used for what? Rapid control of heart rates in various country, uh, conditions such as what? Atrial fibrillations, atrial fluta, supraventricular tachycardia, okay? So any condition that is making the heart beat too fast, you now bring this drug that will basically block some receptors just to make the heart beat more calm, okay? So what is the mechanism of action of this esmolol? Esmolol works by what? Blocking beta-1 adrenergic receptors in the heart. Okay? And this will lead to a decrease in the heart rate and contractility of the heart. Okay? It prevents the action of natural occurring substances like what? Epinephrine and noepinephrine that will basically result into what? The heart beating too fast. Okay? So what is the pharmacokinetics of this esmolol? For onset of action, esmolol has a rapid onset of action with effects seen within 2 to 10 minutes when you administer it intravenously. For duration of action, the hemodynamic effects of esmolol will last for about 10 to 30 minutes, but this can be prolonged with higher cumulative doses. Okay, half-life. Elimination half-life of esmolol is just 9 minutes, okay, but acid metabolite formed has a half-life of about 3.7 hours, okay? Metabolism, esmolol is rapidly metabolized by what? Red blood cells, red blood cell esterases into an inactive acid metabolite, okay? Excretion, the drug and its metabolites are excreted primarily what? Through urine, all right? For protein binding, esmolol is about 55% of it will bind to protein, okay? So looking at the clinical uses of this esmolol, um, it can be used for what intraoperative and postoperative tachycardia. So when they are doing operation, within the time range for the operation, if you're having a tachycardia or postoperative after the operation and having tachycardia, you can use this S model to control it. Okay, so it's used to control rapid heart rates during or after surgery. Then for supraventricular tachycardia, it is effective in what managing heart rates originating above the ventricles for hypertensive emergencies it is used for rapid blood pressure control in emergency situations okay the safety and side effects the common side effects include since it is controlling hypertension it can now throw you into hypotension okay so it includes hypertension bradycardia headaches dizziness right contraindications if a patient already has severe bradycardia that's already have issues of what low heart rate. You don't want to come now bring a drug that will further take the rate down. Okay. And if the patient has a heart block, which is greater than the first degree, or if they have any cardiogenic shock, you don't use the esmolol, right? Precautions. As I given this drug, monitor for potential interactions with other medications that affect heart rates and blood pressure. All right. So I think that's it for the pharmacology of this word beta blocker known as S-Molov.